Need my powerful girlfriend. Okay, girls, calm down. I'm shooting at nothing. They're not that strong, but this is kind of annoying. Come on. Big cyborg thing. Cyberbug thing. Come on, kill it. Whoa! Taking big damage! Hit the one with the shield! There we go. This one will be over soon. As long as the battles can be over before our extra help leaves, then we should be in good shape. I just hope the difficulty doesn't suddenly jump right before we get the, uh, unlock that really strong character. My shield's gone! Come on. There's some shield. Dude. Shield back, please. All right. Come 
Come on. Be careful. Destroy the ones with the shield. Got him. Alright, only four more. Oh, uh, episode. Hmm. If Granian is able to take the second round, then my team will be the victors or the winners. Well, I'm making up words. <laughs> So we must be cautious at times like these. Our first victory must not be in vain. Go, Granny, and show your skills with hammer. I mean spatula. Go seize a flawless victory just as the Battle of uh, Kane. Even though I'm not sure what you're saying, I can feel your support for me. Granny does not look too confident, which is part of her personality. If I had to say who among my friends was best at cooking, it'd be you without a doubt. Don't be influenced by the judge, uh, by the opponent, judges, audience, or us. Close, to you. Close your heart to calm yourself. I understand. Now's not the time to hesitate. Granny's gaze, uh, gaze changed. I don't have any other talents, but I'm confident in my cooking. Let me go prepare first. Even though I could somehow imagine... Shiro, how did you lose? I made chocolate lard stewed pasta capable of restoring high amounts of energy to frontline soldiers. <laughs> But the judges and audience were shallow people that only cared about appearance, taste, and texture. I, Miss Valentine, will expose this corrupt cuisine judging system. You're blaming others when you didn't pass an appearance, aroma, or taste at all? But it's not all that surprising that Shiro would make something derived from excessive pride. But if I think about it carefully, the reason for Shiro's failure was similar to the reason why Cornelia won just now. What is it, though? Eh, forget about it. Our team ace is up next, so there shouldn't be any problem. Grania Drasser, Drasser, begin cooking. Ah, that was her telling herself. Wow. The way that Grania was so absorbed in cooking he really hit me in the right spot. In the 5 o'clock position, Divine Contesting, Grania's choice of dish is seafood fried rice. Not only is the dish perfect for today, but is also mildly flavored, suitable for all tastes. In the four, uh, 1 o'clock position, Worm uh, contestant Joker is reporting his dish of choice. Oh, mustard grilled fish. This is an ambitious dish. You need to roast the fish evenly at high temperatures and then find the right time to add chili sauce. Finally, you add mustard to enrich the taste. It is a bold choice. I get hungry whenever I see Granny and Cook. Manager, you think we'll win for sure, right? If Granny is serious, there is nobody on Princess Island that can rival her. You mean, no human. After a while! The cheering on both sides drowns out, in the sound of, uh, drowns out the sound of the soap. After waiting tensely for a while, Granny raises her hand first. Seafood fried rice is done. Please have a taste. Wait, there's a weird aroma. Coming from Joker's side. Uh. Granny, don't waver. Joker, who has been tepid over the course of the contest, captivates the crowd by the smell of his dish alone. It looks like the real battle has just begun. Why are you still pretending to commentate at a time like this? You said I was pretending, lady. I can smell the warm aroma from contesting Ronnie and seafood fried rice as soon as it's served. Every grain of rice is encased in the seafood's flavor, and every, bi uh, every bite tastes like high-end seafood. Using the analogy of love... <laughs> so romantic... This dish is like going to the beach in the afternoon on the weekend with that girl you liked in school. The taste is so innocent and gentle. No one can resist the feeling of their first love. Aww. That's pretty good. It was a false alarm. Uh... Wait, no way. Even though everyone's tasting the seafood fried rice, but the air is thick with spices and mustard, this... This isn't good. Even I've been drawn by the smell of the mustard grilled fish. Now let's judge contestant Joker's dish, mustard grilled fish. The smell started off as a very oppressive, probably because of the... Uh, the smell started off as very oppressive, probably because of the mustard, but it quickly turned into the smell of chili sauce and spices, and when you put the fish in your mouth, it's the taste of purity of seafood. 
this feeling of, consist of constantly changing and searching. Using the analogy of love, this dish is like having to part with your lover because of war and conflict, but fate eventually brings you two together. Compared to this, the first love really seems too sentimental. If I must, I'd say Joker has a slight advantage. Nobody understands when you keep talking about love. Up until the last vote, Granny and Joker were tied, but Joker ends up winning. I'm sorry, I really, I'm really the type of person to screw things up at a critical time. This failure was all because I'm useless. I won't let you blame yourself like that, Grunian. Shiro would say, victory and defeat are both common in battle. We still have a chance. If only I was more skilled. I suddenly notice that there's something very important in the discussion that's going around in the audience. It validates the thought I had before. Seafood fried rice was a great dish, but it was missing something. Grunian, who usually doesn't care about winning, was too afraid of losing the contest, so she settled on a safe dish. There was nothing wrong with the dish, but it lacked character. That was where Joker cleverly took the lead, etching it into the minds of everyone with distinctive taste and strong aroma with his dish. I don't think we lost on the dish itself, but on the strategy. Strategy? To be precise, it's the strategy for a cooking contest. Since all the contestants have different cooking styles, it would be ludicrous to say which was the best. That means the only viable strategy is to win people's hearts and minds. But our strongest contestant, Grunian, just lost. Even if we'd figured out the nature of the contest, we wouldn't have won anyway. Yes, if only I was more mature. I feel as if Grunian is about to cry, so we have to try to say some comforting words. No amount of comfort will be enough to reverse the outcome. It's okay! You took us to Flavortown! Guy Fieri would be proud of you! You could be on, uh... Triple G? Triple D? Come on. Taking you guys to the rough part of Flavor Town. We're in the rough side of Flavor Town here. We take cooking seriously. You thought you knew food wars. Give me that. Thank you. Stop killing my shield. Alright, come help us, Bean. down. And big guard goes down. Sorted salad? Oh no. We're running out of proficiency. It's about the same level as the uh, campaign level we're on. Into the 14,000s. It's not good. Just need to win this one and the next one. I think I can do it. Gotta try not to take uh, damage. No damage. Let's go. Boy. Shoot him! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Ugh, out of shield.
Hit him hard. I got a little shield back. Good. Come on, kill him. There we go. Get some of my, uh... Back up after this round. Oh, I thought they were all dead. All right. I'm hard. Them before the shield regenerates. One dead. All right. Now I just gotta get the big guy here. The shield. There we go. This is it. What is the level we're supposed to be at for this? Oh! Ow! That's... That's an over 2,000 point difference. I think we can do it.